You want to talk about Gwen Berry, the Olympic yes. hammer thrower who turned away from the flag during the national anthem? Yes. Uh, this is a really interesting story because obviously it's it's uh, being uh, played a bunch on Fox News. These are yeah. people, who, hey, look, there's somebody who doesn't care about the anthem and they're turning away and blah, yeah. blah, blah. So basically, in short, the U.S. Olympic trials, not the Olympics, the Olympic yeah. trials had uh, their events over the weekend. And this girl, Gwen Berry, is a hammer thrower and is like super prolific. She competed in one Olympics before. And this is her like second time going to the Olympics. She mm -hmm. got bronze mm -hmm. in the Olympic hammer throw. And on the podium, she got up there as they start playing the national anthem, which is a little unusual at the Olympic trials. Normally, they just play it once in the day. And yeah. this is the one time she played it. The one time they played it is when she was on the podium. Just happened to be when she was on the podium. Yeah. Not according to what she would say. Well, and then yeah, as they're yeah. playing the national anthem, she feels upset that they're playing it while she's on the podium. So she turns her back to the flag pretty much. Right. Not in necessarily like a super dramatic way, but like she kind of shuffles her feet and like turns away from the flag. Yeah. Why and she, she also had a, a shirt that said athlete right. activist on. Yeah. So uh, I guess she's upset. She felt like she was set up because she planned. Obviously, she wore the athlete activist shirt or brought it up there. She planned, I guess, to like put that up. And then she, they start playing the anthem. And she's probably going that moment like, fuck, if I put this up during this time, is it going to look like I'm denying the, the anthem or is it disrespecting the anthem or whatever it is? Um but then she turns away from it, yeah. which is even worse, Definitely. or looks even worse. Yeah. And of course, you know, right-wing media jumps all over it. Um, but it's an interesting discussion, right? Because one, that anthem just gets played once throughout the day. There's many different right. people that are going on podiums, and usually they play once. And they played it five minutes after the time it was supposed to. Right. So in their uh, defense, their meaning like the Olympic Committee's events is like, yeah, it was it was a little bit late. We didn't plan this whole thing around the fucking female hammer throwing. Yeah, thing yeah. like you got to be third place at the. Yeah, you got third hammer. place. Oh, she's third place. Yeah, yeah. She got, she got hey, face the flag, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you let so, down a whole country. Why don't you look at that flag, bitch? Well, it was the it was the trial, so everyone it was all American. But that's the thing. That's why you don't have to play it every single time because oh, we know you're American, okay. so we knocked this out once, right? right? Um, but what I think is really interesting about this is if you don't like America, don't represent it. In the Olympics, yeah. the uh, America, the, the Olympics is about representing your country. It, it, that is the only thing it's about. It is a competition between countries. Yeah, but it's also about individual greatness. No, it's 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 about individual greatness attached to a country, and you can represent. You can like um, the, the Olympic Committee flag. Go yeah, go for the Olympic Committee flag. So you're essentially okay. going for. Yeah. Whatever it is, it, it, you're not going for a country, even though uh, your country is represented in the Olympics. But yeah, like that, that's what it's about. I mean, if you look at the standings at the end of the Olympics, it's like who had the most medals? Yeah, what's the medal count? But at my point was like Usain Bolt is attached to Jamaica, but he's bigger than Jamaican track star. He's, absolutely. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's but, why I would think you would go. But in that case, you could just rep the Olympics. Bigger than that because he but, got but the stage just, of the world stage of the Olympics. But you could just do the for, world champions championships yeah right like just yeah but the olympics has the most eyeballs like if of you course. want individual greatness you're still the best way to do it is dominate the olympics can't oh. you compete for like the non-country team yeah that's what you're saying like, yeah that yeah. would be the solution but if jesse yeah. owens won eight gold medals at the goodwill games not that big of a but problem. also she's getting mad at this situation what would have happened if she qualifies and now is representing america at the olympics she's gonna she not yeah. what's she gonna do when the flag is raised then yeah, so she's gonna turn turn away. Like, and and here's the thing that's interesting: at the Olympics, at the Olympics, you're not allowed to do any demonstrations during the Olympic Committee. The American Olympic Committee said you're not allowed to do any demonstrations during the uh, podium uh, mm -hmm. thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but during the qualifying, you are. So oh. she's technically allowed to do whatever during this. Yeah. I just find it weird. Like, I, it's just weird. If you don't want to represent America, then just don't compete for America. Compete with the Olympic flag. That's cool. Yeah. But do you want to use all the funding that the Olympic Committee is going to give you? You want to use like there's a, it's not like it's not like there's not resources right. that America is giving you so you can be great at this thing. Right. So you're willing to take the American resources so that you can be great. And then when it's time to represent America who gave you those resources, you're like, nah, I don't fuck with it. Yeah. Just don't use the resources. Start a GoFundMe. People will give to that. Yeah. Just off the strength. But maybe I'm missing something. Al, what do you think? I don't know. It's uh. It's a little weird that this was her way of demonstrating because they started to play the anthem. Like, I would say, hey, you're still doing the same thing that you planned on doing with the T-shirt. So, like, now it, it makes it look worse that it's like yeah. now it's like uh, I'm actively 
trying to say, yeah, yeah, disrespecting. Yeah, you could have just stood up there with your T-shirt and it would have had the same message. And had people the song would have supported been playing it. or not playing. They would support, they'd so, be like, yeah, yo, I you're... Can't, I don't yeah. really get the motivation. Yeah, that's why. the thing that frustrates me. Is like, I think she should be allowed to protest if she wants to. Yeah. Like, it's, I agree with your point. Like, it's kind of goofy, blah, blah, blah. She's not going to protest the funding, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that she says that it's some sort of, like, calculated conspiracy to try to, you know, attack her, I think is, like, completely misguided and, like, borderline narcissistic. Borderline, like yeah, just, you're a hammer throw. I don't even know what a hammer. I don't throw know what is. the sport is. I don't know what your <laughs> is sport that the is. one where you put the ball here and you no. spin. No, it has a That's chain in the put. has a chain in the ball. But I yeah. I, I don't yeah, know what hammer throw. We gotta do away with some of these sports, yo. It's too many. <laughs> it's like it's some many. of these sports gotta go. Well, we just need to make sure there's enough where we win. That's how uh, it works. Yeah, just keep basketball. Let's, no, but that's why we have count. like 50 different sports. I think like sports. hammer and shot put are like the original sports from like Greek yeah, times. Yeah, we get rid of them. Get rid of them. Right, Anything over. we're good at, we have an advantage in. We just increase the amount of it. So, for uh, example, they'll be like, uh, basketball, we're really good. Well, let's add three on three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're three on three. They're swimming. We're really good. So we have a million different strokes. How many different strokes do you need? Right. It's just get there and back. Like yeah. we don't have a million different ways to run. We don't have high knee running, low knee running, yeah. Yeah. right? You just swim the fastest. The fuck well, we, we have different meter, strokes. 200 meter, 200 meter hurdles, stupid. relays. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a different way of actually moving, Yeah. right? You could do longer. Like okay. the, realistically in swimming, it should just be crawl stroke. But mm-hmm. they have butterfly. We should have seven different stroke. basketballs. We should do 3v3. We should do one-on-one. We should do dunk contests. But like, sweet. isn't swimming dumb? Think about that. Like you should just swim the fastest way if it's about speed. Yeah. Yeah, freestyle. Just freestyle, right? Like, but there's no pigeon toe basketball. Like, everybody's got to play pigeon toe or let's go backwards basketball. White guy basketball. White guy. Well, yeah. that's a good sport. <laughs> that's not bad. Is that three on three? Give no. us a chance. It's horse. <laughs> yeah, we just play horse. <laughs> but we'll just invent sports so we have an advantage in like the overall medal count. Yeah. yeah. And they're always the sports that we're good at. Right. Yeah. They're never the shit that we're not that good at. Yeah. Right. Which makes sense. Yeah. With bobsled. Fuck that. <laughs> we don't need more than one bobsled. No. Point. What's the point? What are you doing with this? 200 meter bobsled. 400 meter bobsled. <laughs> <laughs> we got surfing this summer coming up. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. right. That's true. So what that got added, or that was always in it. I think it added. Mm-hmm. They have skateboarding. Yeah, that's oh, really? gonna actually. Be oh, skateboarding gonna... is gonna be really interesting. They're trying to like modernize. Yeah. Like they basically cannibalize the X Games when you think about yeah. it. The X Games is, is like the breeding ground. It's like the the, the G League yeah. for the Olympics. Yeah. And if it's something impacts uh, culturally enough, they're like, all right, boom, we got that. Now mm. it's fine. And then all the kids go, I'd like to watch the Olympics. Yeah. And if you're a fucking skateboarder, if you're Nigel, what's Houston, his name? Yeah. Nigel Houston, like, don't you want a gold medal? Dude, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. I'd much rather yeah. than an X Games fucking trophy. <laughs> you're an Olympian, bro. You're yeah. a fucking Olympian. Yeah, it's Go to the fuck village. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like you have to be in like shape, shape to oh, skateboard. And he came out with the body issue. X Games out there with. What happened? You saw it? Nigel Houston came out with the, I think, Sports Illustrated like body issue. Son, that's right timing. before. Perfect. With the nice ass, bro. Nice ass. Mm-hmm. Did he show peace at all? No peace, but perky buns with the tattoos. But he didn't show peas? Not not full pecs, no. Well, he might get cracked open if he's just showing ass, dude. Yeah, maybe. And it's in Tokyo. Wants, those are the Nah, he's Jamaican, bro. He's those are your beginning uh, dicks. Yeah, no, nice is Jamaican. He's not fucking with that. Oh, you think he Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. His dad was like Rastafarian, I think. Big time Rasta? Yeah. Mm. Oh shit. That's why he had dreads. Like he was skating with dreads down to like his feet when he was like ten years old. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. That was legit. Oh shit, that's kind of cool. Where's he from? Is he from here? Yeah, he's American, but his parents are Jamaican. I mean, like, where in America? Like New York? I think he grew up in South Florida or something. But now he lives in California. Yeah, L.A. boy. I'm killing it. But he's nice. Like he's he's best of ever. Ever like unbelievable, and looks really interesting. Yeah, like tattoos everywhere, which is crazy. If you're a skateboarder, like I'd be so worried I was gonna scrape my arm and fuck the tattoo up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there no concern about, like, do you, are you worried about that? I don't ever? think they're thinking no, long term. He might be covering up scars, too. Like, uh, you know what I mean? He's like, my whole body, I've just got scars everywhere. Like, uh, let me get blasted. And, and then, if, worst case scenario, I can touch up my old. My, my, so, my his scar. ass cheeks out. Let me get blasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, back to this girl. But yeah, apparently the Olympic Committee came out and said the national anthem was scheduled to play at 520 today as per the schedule. We didn't wait until the athletes were on the podium for the Hammer of Thrill Awards. The national anthem is played every day according to the previously published schedule. So they're like, the schedule says we play at this time, right, right after the day events, going into the night events. Mm. The hammer throw is the last day event. Mm. Yeah, it's just turning your back on it. If that's what you feel, cool. But it does take away from any message you're trying to have because it gives people 
like I use the term, the off ramp to stop caring about anything you're trying to make us care about. Because now you're disrespecting our flag. Mm. And whether it's right or wrong, yeah. it does turn off a lot of people. Yeah. So if you're trying to get your message out, it's not your fault. You should be allowed to do that. But just sheer marketing, you're turning off a lot of potential mm. consumers in whatever your message is. But it's not disrespecting the flag. Like I, I don't like when people say that because I'm like... If you're not stepping on or burning or pissing no on a flag, like, what is the that? Flag. It's the symbolic nature of what you're doing. Like in that moment. No, but each of those athletes is representing a person. Like if this is completely opposite from anything about kneeling in the other leagues. I'm like, that's a business and they're making money. There's a trade right there. This is something where tax, the, the argument is this, tax dollars go to these Olympic foundations. We're funding you. We are sending you who are exceptional at that sport to represent me. That is literally the trade that's of the services. That's symbiotic relationship. That's it. I pay you or provide funding mm. so you could get good at this sport. And then you go represent America so we can look like we're dominating the world. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like that very open relationship, like we are open about what that relationship is. If you don't like that and don't want to participate in that, that is totally fine. America allows you that freedom to not do it. But some people might say it's hypocritical to take that funding from America, to take those opportunities from America. And then after taking those things, not fulfill your obligation, which is representing America in the competition. Mm. And I think that's reasonable. Yep. Yeah. You're breaking your deal. You know what I mean? Hold so, up your end. Yeah. Her statement was, they said they were going to play it before we walked out. Then they played it when we were out there. I don't really want to talk about the anthem because that's not important. The anthem doesn't speak for me. It never has. That's fine if it doesn't. Yeah. But if that is your like obligation as far as like the contract goes, then I think that's something that you upkeep or you decide not to do it. I mean, like, you know, you, you're a hammer thrower. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, you know, it's over after this. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's not like you're going to go into the, the professional women's league like for hammer D3 throw. like D3 college basketball. Like, you ain't it's over. It's it, over. This is as, as far this as you get. It. Yeah. Right? And then you work in a Home Depot. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> right? Like, that's it. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean. I don't know. I understand her frustration and, like, I get where, like, the anger is coming from. But at the same time, it's like, yeah. What frustration? Know. I mean, she's, like, frustrated with, like, that's what her statement was. Like, I only care about systemic racism. Like, it's bigger than the sport. Like, I'm not, I'm here for my community, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but don't why? Don't compete in the Olympics then. And also, You're why? You're not going to find a country that's not racist systemically. Yeah, why does You're the... competing <laughs> in, you're competing in a competition with a bunch of racist countries. Like, think about the it. Olympics is kind of inherently racist. Just, Super like, racist. The whole point is like, yo, let's see who's faster, Mexicans or black people. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's, you know what I mean? It's just, it's and just playing the anthem doesn't undercut your message of fighting systemic racism. Because I think her point would be, I don't hate America. I just have problems with America. Mm -hmm. So to that end, playing the anthem when I'm on stage doesn't, or on the podium, doesn't take, a, like, doesn't put anything on me that I hate. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. I, 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 I also... 100% true, but I also don't want this to become a big story because if this becomes a big it's so story, annoying. well, not only that, now if you don't pro, if, if people start saying you can't protest the, the, the flag, yeah. now the overcorrection happens where every black Olympian, and it's the Summer Olympics, mm. so there's a lot, mm -hmm. has to do something yeah. to protest the flag or they're a sellout to black people in the mm. black struggle. So if on the Olympic committee, I say, sweetheart, do whatever you want. You can express yourself. This is awesome. Like you go do it because we do not want that to happen when it comes Olympic time. The last yeah. thing you want is all the people representing your country looking like, even if that's not what they're trying to say, looking like they hate your country. Yeah. And we definitely don't want white people running hundred meters. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to figure something out with black people. Yeah. Okay. Let's get yeah. this compromise. Yeah. <laughs>